Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the previous video, we are learning about the host component and also the so and also the view container of we are learning it right. So here, if you observe it carefully, so view we have created a dynamic component. But the situation is so whenever you have the dynamic component you want to create in a particular location. So for example, in this view container, if you want to locate means if you want to load it means what we need to do. So in this scenario also we can load it for this one what we will do is here I will create container ref or anything ok and this container ref let's go to the host dot component and in this one we need to create the view chill ok first we need to capture the not view chill view chill ok view chill of and that one is the container ref and it should be read as so why because it's an element ref right element ref it should be read as view container ref ok and uh, container and of type view container ref so in this scenario so there is no need for us to load the car to load the view container ref as a dynamically injected one so there is no need for us now an ng on it it will be not available so it will be available only in the ng after view unit but in the ng after view unit what will happen uh, what will happen is so you can keep it as a static true also if you want to load it in the now uh, ng on in it so ng after you unit means you will get an expression change error why because we, we cannot change the uh, variables when we are when we are learning the, when we are loading the ng after unit for this reason we will create a button okay so i will create button button load component so if you want you can keep a static true and also you can load it on the ng on it so click is equal to load component i will use the method load component and this method let's go to the host component or ts file and here i will load the component so first one what we need to do is first we need to clear the container this dot container dot clear so if anything already is there means we will clear the container now uh, let's refresh this page yeah now it has container has been cleared now what we need to do we need to load the component so here you need to use this dot container sorry this dot container container dot create component of the dynamic component we need to create it that's it so now if you try to see here when i try to load the component okay automatically the direct component dynamic component has been created in between these two component the in between these two html elements the dynamic component we have created so in this way we can create wherever we want to have it we can create it if you want means you can also keep an another option that is nothing but static true i already told you right static true and these two things you can add it here in our ng on it now it will be available and this dynamic component automatically loads when the page has been loaded so dynamic component has been has already been loaded so in this way we can use it so this is how we will be loading the component dynamically in a particular place so whatever the place you want in the component you want to load it means this is how we will be loading it and another one which I want to tell you is for example if it has an input element or anything and if you want to pass the input element for example dynamic component is there right dynamic component dot ts file ok so this is our dynamic component and here let's assume that we have an input ok input message of type message of type string is equal to default message ok and here uh, let's say that we also have an output also let's say let's say that we also have an output message of type string and we can remove this one and here output at the rate output of action anything is equal to new event emitter of type string so it will tell, send you the string that's it now here send event i will have a method send event and here this dot action this dot action dot emit of um, this dot action dot emit of i will send some message okay event sent so this is our code and let's go to the dynamic component dot html dynamic component dot html and here we are having this dynamic component right and in this one also dynamic component and here also in this one also what i will do is i will have one button button send event okay send event i will have like this send event 
and upon clicking on this one so we will be sending the event send event that's it so now we are sending the event now if you try to uh, now this one is finished so now if i click on dynamic component.ts file okay so it is having now let's go to the host component.ts file so when i click on this dynamic component so we are having this dynamic component and we need to show this default message also right so here we will show this default message that is nothing but input message and i will be showing the input message now if you see here i will click on that load component and we will able to see a default message now i want to send this message i want to send a custom message to this one the input event i want to i have created a dynamic component i want to send the input data also to this one so for that reason what we need to do is let's create a container ref okay container or component ref sorry component ref of type component ref of dynamic component okay so this is of this is which i have created it and this one should be something like this dot component ref is equal to and i have added this one now in order to send an input message what we need to do is this dot sorry this dot component ref dot instance so we need to take the instance dot so we will be having these all the things so message is equal to and we can uh, send hi leela so this is our message which we can send it now if i click on this one see the hi leela say message we have sent it now when i click on this event so the way an event will be submitted right always an event will be submitted so when you click here event will be submitted if you want to capture that event means we can also use it so this dot component ref dot instance dot action dot dot subscribe so you will get the message okay and here you can uh, uh, console dot log of that message so you can take that message so that is not much event sent or something we have used it right so that's a, that's the same message you will be able to get it cannot find message what is this one so we are having this one right <coughs> dot subscribe of message action dot subscribe only and we are using the same method did you mean message so spelling mistake or what okay we are having triple s okay so now if you try to see the output for this one so load the component and if i click on this event see event sent has been sent so in this way we will be loading the dynamic component and also we are sending the event and also capturing the events and all those things we will be doing it like this hope you understood about this concept so i will commit this code in a new branch that is video hyphen 27 so here view container ref right so view container ref with input so this one is with input and output so if you want to refer this code or anything means i'll be providing the github repository url in the description below so you can have a take a look at that one and if you like if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you